Time up comes this lovely Type 35 Bugatti driven by Sarah Tunnicliffe. Mm -hmm. Sarah off the line, 3.39, supercharged, 2.3 litre, straight eight, famous Grand Prix Bugatti. Type 35 appeared at the 1924 French Grand Prix, was sensational, but unfortunately all the three cars entered by Mr. Bugatti suffered tyre problems, but nevertheless gave, made a huge impression and was the start of a, a dynasty, really, of Grand Prix Bugattis, of which the ultimate uh, Type 35 was the 35B supercharged, really rapid car. It's always lovely to see a Type 35 Bugatti. It's even nicer when it's driven by a fast lady. <laughs> who's going to go very fast in it. Sarah, lovely to, to meet you and to see the car and you, but you're looking forward to driving it, as always. Oh, absolutely. It is a thrill to drive it. Uh, and uh, I'm slightly anxious about the wet weather, but uh, so I'll take it up uh, carefully the first time, just get a feel for what the track's like. At least it's wet. The worst days are when it's showers and you don't know exactly. how it'll be. Exactly. I, I came here to the Vion Bleu yeah. uh, and it had been really hot and I got on the line and then there was a downpour. Yes. yes, so that wasn't great. But on a wet track, is it quite difficult to get off the line without too much wheel spin? Uh, let's hope so. <laughs> no, no, um, it, I think it is, yes. Yeah. You just have to, you have to ease into it. Yes. 35B, so it's supercharged, producing plenty of power. Yes, oh, it is exciting. It's, I mean, it's the racing car of its time. It so I feel like I'm driving a racing car. Yeah. And you're doing what the French used to do, which was to drive to the race and then drive home. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. No, and it's, it is a thrill. It's a beautiful car. Yeah. It is um, a classic car that everyone knows, and that, and that beautiful pale blue colour. Yeah. Uh, I think it is, it's, 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 Iconic of its of its yeah. area, really, isn't it? And that wonderful engine, straight eight, yes. um, and um, producing what 130, 140 horsepower. Yes, exactly. Well, there was once a, a race between a Porsche 911 and a 35 quarter mile race, and the 35 won it. Of course, of course. Of course. What are the brakes like? Well, inside the where your feet are, the the brake is very close to the accelerator. So I tend not to use the foot brake. I just use the handbrake. Oh then there's no confusion because if you're if you think that you're on the ex uh, you think you're putting your foot on the brake, but actually you're putting it on the accelerator, can be a little bit dicey. Yeah, that's exciting. Yes, it is. Uh, but the handbrake operates on all four wheels. No, the back wheels. Oh, just the back. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. So uh, yes. So the, in panic situations, you have to die for one pedal or another. Correct. Correct. Yes. Um, and from a steering and road holding point of view. It's very good. Yes, it's very good. Uh, and it just likes to go. You know, it doesn't like to uh, idle very much. It wants to go. And it's a gearbox that you have to you, uh, you have to be master of. You sort of throw it into gear, first, second, third, you know, no, no fussing about. It just... But what you don't want on the way home is white van man overtaking you and then standing on the brakes. That happens so often now, and it is terrible. It is terrible. But then people don't ha have knowledge. Years ago, there was that generation that did have knowledge of older cars, but yes. nowadays people don't, and they assume they have modern ABS braking. Right. Just you have to go back and leave a, a, a nice gap. Yes, yes, exactly. I'm always pulling back. But when you drive an old car, I think it teaches. I've driven old cars since I was a child. Yes. It teaches you always to be observant and to be looking ahead. And I think it makes you a better driver. Uh, it's like riding a motorcycle. It's just the same. Yes, yes. Lovely. Well, I hope you have a brilliant weekend. I'm sure you will. We will watch with interest. You're the only woman in your class, which means you've got to win. Uh, well, I'll do my best. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.